All right, we got a 1v1 Doom L versus Mr. Nasty Time. I believe Nasty Time is in my buddy Quaffle's clan, <laughs> which I'm casting with right now. This is Doom Joker. He, um, and L is in my clan, so we got a little clan rivalry right here. I hope L wins. And you're voting for Nasty Time, so here we go. Just a little, just a little. I am a big fan of L, though. He beat me, so. Yeah, L's awesome. <laughs> he actually just been, hasn't been playing much lately, so, uh, Oh, he lost one of the last games. He he was just lacking in some some macro. Oh my so we'll goodness! See, see, see brush all the rust oh. off. Oh my goodness! We just had Liquid TLO leave the game, but don't worry, oh, friends. Man. That was not the real Liquid TLO. <laughs> oh, you should have said it was, man. <laughs> God, he'll be no, bad. man, we don't want any fakers in here. Yeah, we're real. Oh, for real, for real. So, uh, <laughs> Mr. Nasty Time, he's been hanging out in the iWin channel. A little bit. Beast is the you could call clan leader. He's the most Kuro. active and I win. So um if he is, you know, Beast could confirm that. Let's not take yeah. anything away from Mr. Nasty Time though. He is a masters leveled Protoss player. Mm -hmm. know, sorry Joker, I keep cutting you off. I'm so sorry. No, no, I, I just I just try to find I always cut you off too. Um but yeah, I was just gonna say Elder's a uh He's actually at Diamond Zerg. He should be master. I've seen him stomp plenty of masters. He mm -hmm. doesn't like the ladder because he's lazy, but he's still awesome. He's one of my favorite players to watch, especially with investors. He's really good with them. So, uh, yeah, we just casted a game with uh, him versus a Terran, Kobe. Yeah, Kobe. Uh, spoiler alert: L did lose that game to a nice uh, Marine <laughs> Hellion timing. But yeah. uh, as we said. L was a little bit rusty, and now he's kind of back in his game. So let's see what he can do against Protoss. I'm yeah. really excited. Yeah, this will be good. I love ZVP matches because I play Zerg. I just love to see how other people play against Toss because I struggle with them a lot. Mm -hmm. So watching good players like L help me out. Yes, uh, us Protoss players have a lot of people to look up to that are successful against Zerg. <laughs> <laughs> Us pro dos players. So, um, what do you think we got going here for some strategies? You know, I've seen Eld, Eld probably going to start with some, uh, you know, I've seen him do different things. I've seen him go, like, a lot of roaches, do really good roach with plus one attack for bite off those stalkers, but i also seen him go just mass wings and infestors to fight off some Protoss armies, so we'll see what he goes here. Yeah, those are both good. Perfectly fine strategies for Zerg against Protoss. Uh, the only difference is the timing at which they strike. So uh, huh. I feel like any type of Infestor build isn't very aggressive, but very strong defensively against Protoss. While the Roach, when you make Roaches, you need to do damage with them. You can't really sit back, I feel as though. Uh, any Zerg player that I've played that sat back with Roaches and gave me time to tech to, let's say, Colossus or High Templar, I've been very successful. Yeah, I can second that because sometimes when I build roaches, I'm not as aggressive, and I give Protoss just a little bit of time to get those one Colossi out, one or two, and then it's just done. I can't get Corruptors up in time, and it's just so. Yeah, but that's yeah, that's absolutely correct on the uh, yep on that analysis. So, and we see a pretty standard opening from Protoss and Zerg. The Zerg is just kind of journeying up getting his enough uh, gas for his mel metabolic boost. Uh, he is getting a little bit extra gas, so he could c go into some kind of uh, tech here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. While we see the Protoss getting a few stalkers out, he's going to poke and prod, hopefully before the uh, metabolic boost is done. You can mm -hmm. do a lot of damage as Protoss with just a stalker and zealot. Yeah, that's crazy how much damage you can do with just a couple guys if you don't have speed up right now. He does, he's going to snipe this this first drone that L just has sitting out there. That drone goes down, poking yeah. up into the base. And this is actually a big problem for Eld. He has no, he literally has no units out that can attack other than a, a queen or two. So the oh. soccer can theoretically out micro everything. So until oh, and he Eld's gets... running his queen around. He's going to lose his queen to the stalker. Ooh. Oh, yeah, Queen's so slow. Oh, on my creep. goodness. No, oh. So slow on creep. Eld has workers not mining. He's in bad shape right now. Oh, man. Have you seen, like, a Queen's Death animation? Like, it, you can see its spines and 
I, I don't have mine disgusting. on high graphics, so I probably can't see. Oh, oh man, <laughs> you're gonna have to watch this cast again. And, uh, <laughs> we don't get to see another queen die. I kind of wanted that. <laughs> but we do see a whole bunch of lings coming out, so Mr. Nasty Time is going to have to head back home and continue up his tech route. So how good was that, uh, that little rap, you know? It was pretty nice. It threw Eld's macro off, so uh, Mr. Nasty Time is well ahead in probes right now. Mm. But there's no follow-up threat, so Eld is completely free to drone up and catch right back up. And you can already see now that the drone counts are actually equal, and Eld has a stronger army oh yeah so you did get to snap a queen which they do suck you need those queens for puke and larva and spread and creep so it's gonna Eld has to use some minerals to get another queen coming out right away mm -hmm. um he's getting plus one missile attack without without even having any missile attack units on the field so <laughs> probably going roaches here pretty soon yeah that's a that's a good thing to point out just kind of planning for the future. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. That's a common. Um, that's a common practice in real life as well. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going double Evo Chamber over here. Third side. And good call. He does throw down that war Roach Warren. I just got a personal message, Quaffle, that June 25th we got to keep the date open because there's going to be a tournament that we are going to have to cast. You will probably be playing in it. Hopefully you don't make it to the final so we can cast it. Oh, dear. I, I hope you do. I hope you do. For the fans, I will <laughs> gladly sit out and cast all the games that people allow me to. And Joker, <laughs> I'm not going to I'm not gonna prevent you from playing, but hopefully you will join me. You prevented me from playing last time. I played against you. You stopped me. I prevent. <laughs> Prevention. I apologize formally. <laughs> okay. No, I'm down. I'm down to cast. So, anyways, June 25th. So, all right, let's go back to the game here. Mm -hmm. I like this little wall off that Mister Nasty Time has going on here, up in his up in his natural. Yeah, it's a pretty nice wall off. He does. He is using two pylons, so it's not the most steady wall. A few roaches could come up and easily snipe a pylon. Mm -hmm. Throwing down. Wow, four more gates of Mister Nasty Time's base right now. He's gonna have. Eight gates? Wow. Yeah, it looks about just about eight gateways, and this is going to be really hard for Eld to stop if he doesn't scout it. But we do see Eld getting a lot of upgrades. He's getting a ground carapace, level one. He's getting the glial reconstitution and missile attacks two. So not only is he going to have a whole bunch of roaches out, but he's going to have upgraded roaches. Nice, nice. This will be this will be good. The only thing that I have to critique with L right now is he still doesn't have metabolic boost, mm, which yeah. is going to really hinder his ability to finish off the stalkers. Absolutely, especially because the stalkers just had blink getting done. They are going to be able to blink out of a lot of sticky situations here. Uh, yeah. If Eld were to start uh, Burrow he would be able to easily defend this attack because it doesn't look like Mr. Nasty Time is preparing to throw down a robotics bay to... Ooh, it is. And Eld has, a, has an overseer up in Mr. Nasty Time's base. He's checking out all these gates. He's checking everything he's got. Oh, okay. and he's contaminating the warp gate. Awesome. Yeah, that's a good decision. And we do see Mr. Nasty Time has actually completely cut off probes at 51. So this is a timing attack. This is going to be... Oh, it's uh, coming out right now. Scary looking army health does not have the forces to defend this. He needs to start pumping out more more units right now. Yeah, it's eight, it's currently eight roaches and twelve slow lings to fifteen stalkers, a zealot, and five sentries. A lot more roaches are popping out right now. He's pumping them out. He does have Zerg uh, missile attack level two. He's going to be finishing just about when this battle happens. Ooh, this is a scary looking force, especially with Blink. Oh, the force field's gonna catch a few of those roaches. Yep. He's still just constantly pumping roaches. This is gonna be nice if he can hold this off, but it's it's pretty scary. Yeah, but we do see the Protoss forces with plus two attacks, so they're relatively even on upgrades right now. Ooh. Oh, here come the Blink Stalkers moving up into the base. A couple of spine bars attacking. Ooh, the roaches are trying to get up onto the Stalkers, but there's just so many Stalkers, and he's blinking them back, doing so much damage to these roaches. Yeah, and I believe Mr. Nasty Time is going to completely crush Eld. This is a great time. Eld just didn't, uh, he scouted it, and he, he prepared well for it, but Mr. Nasty Time had great execution. He stayed back, was, didn't rush it, got enough units out so his blinks could 
Uh, the thing with stalkers is that you can't just have a few and blink with them. You have to have enough uh, to buffer each other. So when you blink back, there's new fodder. So you never lose health. So yeah, yeah, it's always I, best I, to have a big group of stalkers instead of having a few to harass. Yep, and this looks like this is a nasty push. This is going to end the game. Um, so yeah, he did, I mean, he scouted it, just couldn't get the units up in time. He did have nice upgrades. He just couldn't, you know, he just maybe just too many. At the point, yeah, just a little bit late. Just got it as third saturated when that force is coming in. We get the GG from the so. A very good game. A very uh, nice example of a seven gate timing push or an eight gate. Sorry, this eight is, gate. Yeah, this we got eight very, gates going. This is a very uh, big timing attack. You could call it all in because Mr. Nasty Time, I'm sure, didn't have much of a transition. If he saw Burrow, he would have thrown down a robotic spay and kind of just uh, switched over to an observer and then attacked. So, yeah. Uh, Eld could have held off with Burrow, but, you know, there's a lot of things Eld could have done theoretically to stop that. Yep, absolutely. For armchair away. quarterbacking. So. Yep, armchair quarterbacking, exactly. Anyways, guys, this is from uh, Why So Serious StarCraft, so subscribe to us, and uh, we'll give you guys more casts in the future. Thanks. GG.